Hello everyone, Warp here, and I am going to be trying out some 44s in the Wasteland here. I've always been a commando player, and I wanted to see how this whole pistol action is rock and roll. So come along as we check out some of the god rolls that I have. I have an anti-armor explosive 25. We have a bloodied explosive 25. We also have some quads, the explosive 25, a faster fire at 25, and a quad crit crit fill. So let's go and see if these things are any good. All right, let's go over what perks and buffs I'm going to be using. You can pause here to get a better look, but I'm using the full gunslinger setup. And for food, I'm using white soup because I'm going to be doing a lot of critting, and as well as carrots, potatoes, and meat fruit and company tea. So with the herd mentality giving me increased buffs here, we have the company tea with 25 agility, the max AP, the 125% crit damage, and 5 perception. And here you can pause and check out the mutations that I'm going to be using for testing. Alright, to get the 44 pistol, it's a pretty common reward from stuff in the forest and around Appalachia. But you can also get the plants from any raider or responder vendor. And uh, the ammo's not too bad. I went in with some friends to um, an uplink in Daily Ops. And within just a couple minutes I got about 1200 rounds. Which was uh, pretty easy, so... This is a slow firing gun too, so ammo is really not going to be an issue for you. Alright, now you can see here with the faster fire rate versus just a normal one, the it's a noticeable difference, and it's not an automatic weapon, so it's not really going to get too much benefit from faster fire rate, but you can see that there is a noticeable amount of difference. And I, when I went to go try out the reload, I got a reload version, and I don't know if I was doing something wrong, or the perks are weird, or it's bugged, but if you see, between the Quan 2525 and the reload, there's no visible difference with the, having the reload on. Alright, to start out the testing, I just made a level 45 version out of Weapon Munch, and this thing packed quite a punch just by itself. And then moved on to the Anti Armor 2525. It was not too bad. Um, then I moved on to the Anti Armor Explosive, and you can see an immediate increase in damage. And then I went on to the Bloodied Explosive, which was doing a noticeable amount of increase in damage. So I took the bloodied explosive, and even with the calibrated and the line long barrel forceful stock and reflex sight, there are different mods you can have on it that are going to help with your recoil and stuff. But I took it and I was trying out just general hip fire and aiming damage with it, and uh, yeah, the recoil is really not that bad. There is kind of a, a pretty big kick on it, but it seems like it goes right back to where you're aiming, so it's not like other guns where if you keep firing, you'll end up just shooting at the sky, so that was pretty cool. Alright, and as far as using the naming, uh, this is definitely not my forte, I haven't really been a pistol user or a name user, but uh, yeah, it wasn't too bad, even with a little bit of distance there, I was able to get some good headshots, and it wasn't too bad. Alright, so for boss fights, I thought that the anti-armor explosive was going to be my best bet here. So you see here on the Myler Queen, you know, it uh, took quite a little bit to get her actually down here. Now, I didn't really think that the quad was even going to be useful here since I was going to be, you know, having a lot of time to reload with her throwing the poison at me and everything. But uh, compared to, you know, the type of railways or anything that I am used to, obviously this is going to be drastically less. So a boss killer, this gun is not for sure. So anyway, I took it over to the glowing behemoth. I wanted to see like how long if I can get it to like get a good headshot. So I get my little crit filled here, and I go. So I do take a pretty healthy chunk off that little first gun, but it's still basically a full magazine to get him down. Um, it's still not the worst in the world. So anyway, I thought oh, let me try it again here with the quad explosive and the quad crit fill. So I put on some poison stuff since I don't really have anywhere really to hide. So I start here with the quad explosive 25, and I was going to I go and basically cl clear out all the ads that I can before I actually start fighting the boss. From what I've seen, and from a little bit of testing, it seems like quads really not really worth it, worth anything good here, because, you know, I mean, like, what's the point? You're not really going to be doing any real sustained damage on them. And a little bit of reloading that you're going to have to do, it seems like it'd be a pretty big trade-off for, you know, the you know, the, the decrease in actual damage that you're doing. So anyway, um, so we got this all cleared. I'm going to switch over to the quad crit crit fill here. 
I was hoping that um, even though I am bloody, the crit bill's not doing anything for me. At least I'm getting some good crits out of it. So, you know, I'm sit still hitting there for like 600, 300, or 250, 300, 600, whatever. And, uh, yeah, definitely not the best boss killing gun in the game. But this is a pistol, and this is still, you know, pretty fun to go test out. Um, never really used pistols. I don't think that I'm going to be sold on them after this little testing at all. But, uh, yeah, definitely let me know in the comments what you guys think about pistols. Is 44 your, uh, the kind of thing that you like using, or are there other pistols? Obviously, I'm assuming 10 millimeter is going to be the popular one. But anyway, let me know. Also, I, when researching the 44s, I came across uh, this awesome video from Radkeen that goes over the history of pistols all throughout all of the Fallout games. Definitely, um, here's a link here to it, and definitely go check it out. And uh, rock and roll. Well, anyway, here is another little guide for you guys to be out there in the wasteland. And yeah, we will see you guys later with our next guide and our next weapon.